So in our today's video, uh, we are talking about a chemical reaction equilibrium. And uh, let's uh, let's start with the quantity called a uh, stoichiometric number. And what what it is essentially, it is the number of moles of particular species that are reacting in a balanced reaction to produce a balanced reaction. So for example, uh, if I have something like that, like we have mu A absolute plus uh, A plus mu B, B and it gives C, C plus mu D, D. So we call all these uh, quantity as stoichiometric uh, number, right? And uh, this is absolute sign, right? And we know that that uh, uh, x, uh, stoichiometric number is positive for products and negative for and negative for reactants, right? So we know uh, this thing. And let's take a, a, a example. Uh, let's we have a reaction N2 plus 3H2 and it gives a 2NH3. So here you can see the stoichio stoichiometric number of N2 is minus 1. So reactant, that's why we have minus negative sign. Uh, here it is minus 3 and 2. So this is how you can uh, we we can find the uh, find the stoichiometric number for individual uh, components and for any inert gas stoichiometric number gas stoichiometric number is zero so for any reaction the change in the number of moles of any component present in any side are directly proportional to the its stoichiometric number so apply to a differential amount of a reaction. This principle provide D N I upon mu I is equals to, you can write for individual components, mu A D N B upon mu B. So this is your number of moles and this is a stoichiometric number. D N C mu C and D and D nu D is directly is equal to the differential change in reaction coordinate. Here it is a epsilon and epsilon is what? It's a reaction coordinate. Epsilon is reaction coordinate. So we, uh, this quantity we identify as a reaction coordinate, right? And the, uh, what is D epsilon is differential change in the reaction coordinate. So this is what differential change in the differential change in reaction coordinate in reaction coordinate. So from here, what we have, we have relationship that D and I stoichiometric coefficient D epsilon, right? So rearrange this. So what we have D and I is equals to mu I D epsilon, right? Now just integrate this uh, equation. So integrate, integrate the above relation, above equation. So we integrate from and I not the initial number of moles to the final number of moles of any species I. D and I is equals to, so initial reaction is 0 and then epsilon. So epsilon means how far the reaction is proceed. Okay, epsilon means how far the reaction proceed. So uh, a reaction coordinate or extent of reaction is a quantity that measures the extent in which the reaction proceed, right? So reaction coordinate here you can write this is a reaction coordinate. So this is the quantity, right? This is the quantity that measures the extent in which the reaction proceed or we can say how far the reaction is proceed. So when you integrate this, what we get Ni minus Ni naught is equals to nu I epsilon. 
So rearrange again this and I naught plus nu i epsilon. Let's take this as the equation number one. Now summation of overall summation uh, species. Summation of overall species. So capital N is equals to summation of total number of i species if there are i species are present, right? Then i initial number of moles plus epsilon of nu i epsilon okay then we have n is equals to you can write initial number of moles plus for all stoichiometric coefficient overall stoichiometric coefficient and overall extent of reaction or reaction coordinate now we can we know that that uh, y i or x i the number of mole fraction in liquid and vapor phase is given by initial, um, initial number of moles of that particular species upon total number of moles. So now we have all the values. Let's take this as the equation number two. So we have n i is n i not initial number of moles of component i or species i plus stoichiometric coefficient of that component i and reaction coordinate divided by total initial number of total uh, total number of moles initial total number of moles right this is only for the component i and this is for initially total number of moles for that particular uh, reaction plus stoichiometric overall stoichiometric coefficient this is for individual component and this is for overall right and then extent of reaction so this is how you can find out the mole fraction of for any uh, given system and uh, on the basis of this uh, we can we will solve some numerical problems uh, in our coming in coming videos so thank you